गुड इवनिंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्ट द एक्सरसाइज ट्वेंटी फाइव ए क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन द समरी पोर्सन यू आर डू आई यूर सेल्फ सेकेंड इज इन अ सिंगल थ्रोन ऑफ क्वाइन वॉट इज द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग अ टेल सो इन द सिंगल थ्रोन ऑफ क्वाइन ऑल द पॉसिबल आउटकम्स आर हैड एंड टेल टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स आर टू In this one, the tail is come only the one time, so number of tails are only one. Probability of getting a tail is one upon two. Number of favorable outcomes are one, and total number of outcomes are two, so it is one upon two. Next is third. In a single thrown up two coins, find the probability of getting both tails. Second is at least one tail, and third is at the most one tail. Both tail means in the both the coin we get the tail. At least one tail. At least one tail is one tail and more than one tail. And at most one tail. At most one tail means one tail or less than one tail. Less than one tail means there is no tail. So total number outcomes when we are throwing the two coins are head 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 tail tail head and tail tail. So there are the total four possible outcomes. First one getting both. Tail, so there is only the one tail tail in the both the coin. So number of favorable outcomes are one. So probability of both the tail is one upon four. Next is getting at least one tail. At least one tail means one or more than one tail. So in the you are see there is no tail. There is only one tail. There is only one tail and there is two tails. So this. Head tail, tail head, and tail tail. It is the possible outcomes for the at least one tail. There are the total number of outcomes are three. Then the probability for at least one tail is three upon four. Next is third. Getting at most one tail means there is the one tail and less than one tail. Less than one tail means no tail. So in the H S means in there there is no tail. Then at T there is one tail and T H so there is only one tail. So these are the outcomes for at most one tail. So total number of outcomes for at least one tail is three. So the probability of at most one tail is three upon four. Now fifth, a bag contain five white. Six red and four green balls. One ball is drawn at random. What is the probability that the ball is first one green, second one white, and third is non-red? First total number of balls are five, six, and four. So five plus six plus four is fifteen. Now the number of green balls. Number of green balls are four. So there are the probability for the green ball is four upon fifteen. Next is number of white balls. Number of white balls are five. So the probability for the white ball is five upon fifteen. Next is third number of the balls that are not red. That are not red means these are the white balls and green balls. There are five white balls and four green balls. So total non-red balls are nine. The probability for non-red balls are nine upon fifteen. Next is seventh. It is known that a box of the hundred electric bulbs contain eight defective bulbs. One bulb is drawn out of the random from the box. What is the probability that the bulb drawn is defective and second is non-defective? The first total number of bulbs in the box are hundred. Number of defective bulbs are eight. The probability for defective bulbs are eight upon hundred. It is Cancel out by the four, four two ja eight, and four twenty five ja hundred. So probability is two upon twenty five. Now probability of the non defective bulbs. So first we are find the number of non defective bulbs are hundred minus eight because eight are defective bulbs. So hundred minus eight equal ninety two. Ninety two are the non defective bulbs. So the probability of the non defective bulbs are ninety two upon hundred. It is cancel out by the four, so four twenty. Three hundred ninety-two and four twenty-five hundred hundred. Next is eighth. A die is thrown at random. Find the probability of getting first one two. Second is a number less than three. Third is 
a composite number and fourth is a number not less than four so when we have thrown a die we get the six outcomes one two three four five and six these numbers we have to get in the in our die so total number of outcomes are six and in this six there is only one two so the probability of getting two is one upon six next is a number less than three so no, number less than three is one and two only so number of possible outcomes is two probability is two upon six that means one upon three next is composite numbers so what are the composite numbers the numbers those have the more than two factors so there are only the four and six are the composite number because one is neither prime nor composite two is a prime and three is a prime and five is also a prime number so only four and six are the composite numbers in our die the so number of possible outcomes are two so probability of getting a composite number is two upon six it is cancelled out by the two so we get the one upon three next is fourth the number not less than four not less than four means it is greater than four it is equal to four and greater than four so it is four five and six so there are the three numbers which is not less than four so number of outcomes are three now the probability of getting a known not less than four is three upon six that means one upon two next is tenth a box contain 19 balls wearing the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to the 19 respectively a ball is drawn at random from the box find the probability that the number on the ball is a prime number and even number a number divisible by 3 first one a prime number what are the prime numbers the number that have only the two factors the total number of possible outcomes are 19 because there are 19 balls. Prime numbers in between the 1 and 19 is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and 19. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So total number of prime numbers are 8. Probability of prime numbers are 8 upon 19. Now the even numbers in between the 1 and 19 is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 and 18. So these are the 9 numbers which are even in, in between the 1 and 19. So the probability of even number is 9 upon 19. Next is third, the number between the 1 and 19 which is divisible by 3. So it is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and 18. So these are the 6 numbers. So the total number of outcomes are 6. Probability of numbers divisible by 3 is 6 upon 19. Now question number 11. One card is drawn at random from the well shifted deck of 52 cards. Find the probability that the card drawn is a king, a spade, a red queen and a black 8. The first total number of possible outcomes are 52 because there are 52 cards. Out of this 52 cards, four, there are 4 kings, one of the spade, one of the club, one of the heart and one of the diamond. So there are the 4 kings, number of kings are 4, so probability for the king is 4 upon 52. 4 1 is 4 and 4 13 is 52. 1 upon 13 is the probability for the getting the king. Now number of spades, we are know that there are 13 cards of the spade out of 52 so the probability of spread is 13 upon 52 that means 1 upon 4 then a red queen a red queen means there are two red queens one of the queen of heart and one of the queen of the diamond so number of red queens are 2 probability of red queen is 2 upon 52 it is cancelled out by the 2 so we get the 1 upon 26 then fourth is a black 8. So a black 8, there are two black 8. One of the spade and one of the club. So number of black 8 is 2. The probability of a black 8 is 2 upon 52. That means 1 upon 26. Your homework is to complete the exercise 25A in your copy. Thank you.